Hello everybody, welcome to another Market Minute with Jake. I am your host Jake Eldridge with Realty One Group Eminence. And in today's Market Minute, we are discussing the real estate activity for the Carson City, Dayton, Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and Mound House areas of Northern Nevada for February 23rd, 2022. If we take a look at that real estate activity, it shows there is currently 76 homes actively for sale and 49 out of that 76 indicated they would be eligible for FHA financing. This means that 64% of the inventory would allow a buyer to put as little as 3.5% down as the down payment towards the purchase of that new home, when it used to be that sometimes you had to come up with upwards of 20% as the down payment in order to purchase a new home. So diving right into the numbers again, there was 76 total homes actively for sale. The highest list price was at 16 million and the low at 185,000. There was three homes in that 100 to 200,000 price range, three homes in the 200 to 300,000 price range, 11 homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, 23 homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, eight homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, six homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, four homes in the 700 to 800,000 price range, five homes in the 800 to 900,000 price range, three homes in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, eight homes with a list price between 1 million and 2 million, one home with a list price between 2 million and 3 million, and then one home in the 10 plus million price range with that high of 16 million. So when we break all of these numbers down, would indicate that the median list price for a home in the Carson City, Dayton, Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and Mound House areas of Northern Nevada sitting at about 491,000 and the average at about 848,000. If we look at the days on market activity right now, there is a median days on market of about 16 days and the average is at about 47 days. Now, keep in mind, if we do just simply eliminate uh, the homes that are over $2 million, this is gonna actually drop those numbers significantly. Uh, by simply dropping the highest two and taking everything that is under that $2 million price point, it drops the median price to about $484,000 from the $491,000 it was at with all of the inventory. And the average drops significantly as well from $848,000 all the way down to $619,000. If we look at the days on market activity, uh, not much of a change there. It drops from 16 days to 15 days and from 47 days to 43 days for the average days on market. Now, as you know, I do also like to break this down even further for you guys. I am sure that you are aware of the extremely low inventory right now. Many buyers are getting frustrated because it is definitely hard to write an offer that gets accepted because of the amount of competition out there. So there's four statuses that you should pay attention to if you are having difficulty in getting your offer accepted. Uh, make sure you're looking at anything that's in a new status, a back on market status, a price reduced status, or an extended status. Now out of the 76 homes that were actively for sale, 15 of those fell into that category and 10 out of that 15 did indicate they would be eligible for that FHA financing, allowing a buyer to put as little as 3.5% down. There was one home in the 200 to 300,000 price range, two homes in the 300 to 400,000 price range, five homes in the 400 to 500,000 price range, two homes in the 500 to 600,000 price range, two homes in the 600 to 700,000 price range, one home in the 900,000 to 1 million price range, one home with a list price between 1 million and 2 million, and one home in that 10 plus million category. So when we break those numbers down, it indicates that the median list price for a home in that new back on market price reduced or extended status is sitting at a low of 489,000 and the average is at 1.6 million. Now, if we simply eliminate that home that is in that 10 plus million range, it's gonna drop those significantly. The median price goes from that 489,000 to 477,000, and the average will actually drop from 1.6 million all the way down to 570,000. So that is it for today's Market Minute with Jake. As always, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to click that like button. 
If you have family or friends that might actively be looking for a home to purchase right now and need some help, or have friends that maybe need help with selling their existing home, I'd love the opportunity to have a conversation with them. So please feel free to tag them in this video. Uh, they can reach me seven days a week at 775-378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com. Or if you are watching on Facebook, simply click that send message button and you can use Facebook's messenger service to send an instant message with your questions and I'm always happy to answer that way as well. So thank you again for watching tonight and have a great night.